Well, it's, um, it's been a couple of days since my last video. Um, won't seem like this to you guys on YouTube. Um, especially if you're binge watching them. Uh, today I'm going to try and make a start and at least get the, some of the panels tack welded on. Um, I've got a spare couple of hours. I'm actually expecting a, a mate to come down today is what me have a look at his car. Um, but while I've got free time, I'm going to try and get more done in the car. So, I pick the camera up and move it over. You'll see that I haven't, I haven't done anything to the car. Everything's still held in. Clamps, I need to buy more of um, these clamps. I should have actually ordered them in a long time ago, but I haven't. And uh, panel look at the front still there. So the plan today is to at least try and tack weld, tack weld this in for just now. I won't be welding it to the inner cell because the inner cell is going to be getting replaced. So that's the plan for today and obviously before you start need a, a brew. Got to have a brew. Anyway, I'll um, put the camera in position and then um, make a start. decided to replace this quarter panel so as you can see I've just cut it quite roughly there I'm going to cut it along um, along here to give me more access but like I said I don't want to take too much out in one go so um, this is where we're at now I've still got some fat I want to do I've still got a little bit to cut here and um, up here as well where it's not quite fitting but other than that, I'm um, quite happy with how the progress is going. So we'll just um, carry on.
Right, I've got the, the welder set up now down here as you can see. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the the final position of the doorstep. If I go back a bit you can see it a bit more. That hissing that you can hear, that's my air compressor. Um, it fits really well here. However, I've made a bit of a shop's front air up here. So I'm going to have to do a repair there. But before I do a repair there, I'm going to have to do a repair to the B-pillar. Well, I think it's called the B-pillar. I would presume it's the B-pillar. Which is the pillar behind us. If I take these, if I take these clamps off. These are absolutely fantastic clamps. Cleco clamps, I think they're called. Hello. So I'll try to do this with one hand. Now I know how DB feels. It's good at the one one arm bandit though. You should have seen him in, seen him in the pub the other night there. Right, I have um, stupidly cut through this section here. I didn't realise I was in as deep as what I was. You know, whenever you get into deepness, that's me. You know, and it's usually trouble. You know, um, so I'm going to have to weld that up, but I'll be able to clean it up from this side and from this side because this quarter panel is coming off and I've also given that a little clean up as well because it was a tad rusty so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to give that a little weldy poos See that torch. The back, um, that'll get cleaned up, and there's to be fair, there's not really much to clean on that. Um, that'll get cleaned up once I get the quarter panel off, and again, that's just going to need a, just a very light, a very light run over with the wire wheel. Right now let's um, start thinking about getting the, the sill tacked on. Um, I've released this, the, the stiffener here from the inner sill. Um, I've got a funny feeling here, I'm going to have to take that bin out. I've been like uh, Matt Green, tried to keep it on but we'll see. Um, so when I drill the when I drill the um, spot welds out for the floor or the inner shells which is attached to the floor, um, they should all come away. I've just noticed that I've made another shop's front of something. I've cut through the pillar here twice. 
If I hold the light up the back, you can see two two lines there where I've went a bit daft with the hee haw. That's just not paying attention, honestly. I'm going to have to weld that up as well now. So I'll just do the same as what I've done to, to this beast. I've given this a clean up as best as I can off camera. Um, I tried doing it on camera. Um, but I was all over the place and it probably wouldn't make very good watching. But um, I'm just trying to get you guys involved um, in my project so that it's like a bird's eye view. But this was a tool that I was using anyway, just to get just to get up into the pillar. I broke a belt, but I've got boxes of these belts, so that's not an issue. Great little tool that, um, very handy. Goes for a hell of a lot of air though. Right, that metal's not very good. And it's just burning holes, but I'm confident I'll be able to get in to fix that. And it's obviously rotten eh? I think I've got a small fire somewhere. Because it's smoking off, a lot of smoke coming off that. Oh, we're just a paint. Anyway, I'll just do this bit off camera because it's easier and then um, the camera's getting all sparked on and everything so try and save it a little bit. Now that's the holes um, welded up and it was an absolute ball ache. The, the metal around there is absolutely shite and it was blowing holes all over the place. Um, but I've managed to get them all filled now. So um now let's try and get the step in. Now this is a wee tool that, that I bought recently. It's an air punch and a flanger. Absolutely fantastic little tool. Um because I've got a lot of holes to punch, I didn't fancy well, a lot of holes to drill, I didn't fancy drilling them all so but this little fella. I've punched some holes in it, um, I've punched one too far, one too near the edge there, but I'm not too worried about that. Because um, it's covered anyway um, by the quarter panel. Um, I've punched a wee series of holes here and I'll use the holes to plug weld it on and it'll be replicating a, a spot weld. Before I do that, I'm going to give this a little fix squirt of paint. Because once, um, once that step goes on, I won't be able to get to that. Right, this is just some weld through primer. So 
we'll give this area here a little splat. I'll go and make a brew while that's um, drying. Right, I've just, um, I'm halfway through a brew and it's really cold tonight in the garage. Um, you can see the steam coming off the tea there. Um, this paint is dry now. I had to help it along with the, with the heat gun. Just to warm it up a bit because there's no heat, heating in this garage anymore. I'm going to have to do something about that, I think. So, um, yeah, let's get this doorstep offered up. And um, it'd be a good idea to load a clamp onto the woofer doofer first. And it was at this point where the camcorder decided to go flat, well the battery in the camcorder anyway um, I couldn't be arsed charging it up because I'd have to wait I don't have a power supply for this camcorder to run it while it's recording, I wish I did um, but uh, instead I just carried on so this is where we're up to the, the step is semi welded in it's welded on, on this side here However, this side um, is not welded in. I did have it welded in, but I took it out because I wasn't happy with the with the sizes. Um, the hinge, the hinge panel is just held on by these these bolts at the moment, and um, the inner wing. That's in, and it's probably roughly in its right position. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's um, semi lined up. No, it's, it's actually pretty much spot on, to be honest. You know, so the hinge panel's on, um, and that's quite a good fit on the floor. Once that comes down, um, as you can see, I'm going to have to make a little section up for this tow board, um, but that shouldn't be too hard. I just hope the metal's good enough, and I'm not having to cut out loads. Um, the box section. Or the close box closing section here's in. It's not it's not welded in, none of it's welded in at the moment. But some fine fettling is going to be required on that as well. That is the is the M machine panel. And I must say it's quite good. I've actually got a, a piece to add in at the at the back, just under here. Um for the for this panel to sit on. Uh, dash rail, lower dash rail. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I've cut more of this away, I can't remember if I've already showed you this, but if not, there it's there. The underside of the step, as you can see there, has been painted. That will save me, save me from trying to paint it in situ. So what I'll do is, um, before, I, before I fit the sill, I'll, I'll just spray it again so that the paint goes right up, right up in between the joint and help seal it, you know, um, if anything that will slow the decay down because these cars are always going to rust, you know, that's what minis like to do. So anyway guys, that's the wife that's just drew in there and that means it's tea time, so I'll just wrap it up there and um, that's here, that's her shouting at the cat, the cat's on the roof. She's nuts. Okay, right guys, 
I'll call it a day there and I'll see you in the next vlog. If you've made it this far, once again, thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, check out my Facebook page if you haven't already done so. Um, there'll be a link in the description for that. Um, Angus1977 Mini, I think it's called. But if you check out the Facebook page as well, um, there, there will be photographs and what have you um, published there that maybe you haven't seen here and what have you, and just other bits and bobs, and maybe we can get some general chit chat in there. Anyway, guys, cheers for now.